Well, good morning, everyone. It is another glorious day here in downtown Bowling Green, Virginia, and uh, I'm on my way to work. Uh, it's not supposed to rain today, but I thought I'd hop on, thought I'd hop on the bike and uh, yeah, ride to work and enjoy it. Well, what I want to talk about is uh, you know this little health kick that I'm on, and I'm not so wrapped around the axle that I give two, you know craps about what it's called and, I, and I, anybody who does I apologize that this is offensive but if you want to call it a diet call it a diet if you want to call it a lifestyle call it a lifestyle if you want to call it a life change call it a life change if you want to call it a journey call it a journey it really matters um, nothing to me so it just doesn't matter so anyway I've been on this uh, keto diet since the 16th of July the really low carb uh, high pro high fat and then protein and uh, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it to be honest with you it's a little bit of a struggle to finding uh, and making dinners and things to, to eat throughout the day but um, that's because I've got you know my entire life behind me of eating crap you know what I mean oh well I don't have time to cook let's go to Taco Bell let's go to McDonald's hey let's get some you know fried chicken let's get some you know, chicken nuggets, whatever the case may be. And, and I know it's, it was yummy, and I don't get me wrong, it was very yummy. I love eating that nasty food, that fried food, and breaded, and buns, and oh, sourdough bread. I just love it all. But, you know, it, it's just not healthy. And we all know that, we've done it for a long time. And, um, so yeah, this uh, keto diet is, uh, seems to be working pretty good. Now I did hit a kind of a stall, and I'm not sure what happened. I think it's just my body trying to trying to fight me a little bit. So last week I did a 24-hour fast, and uh, I like to fast from noon to noon. So on Thursday, lunch was my last meal, and I didn't eat again until lunch on Friday. A 20, excuse me, a 24 hour fast is simple. But I'm going to start incorporating that in my in my uh, weekly habits. So what my plan is to do like uh, a two 24 hour fasts a week. So I might fast for, for like, you know, all day, 24 hours on a Tuesday and then 24 hours on a Thursday, whatever. Two, two times a week I'll do a 24 hour fast. And depending on how that works, I may or may not go 124 and 136. We don't know, we'll see. But uh, that's my plan for now. Intermittent fasting is healthy. Uh, we ever, you, it's all over the place. If you want information, just look, look up intermittent fasting. It'll tell you all kinds of cool stuff about it. And uh, so anyway, back to what happened. So this whole time I've been on this keto diet, my, my glucose levels have raised anywhere from 84 to 91. Per perfect. Awesome glucose levels in my blood. And my ketones are staying above a 1.7, which is also very, very good, which is I'm in the deep state of ketosis. So my body is becoming fat adapted. I don't think I'm there yet, but it's burning uh, fat as opposed to glycogen in my system. I'm not giving it a bunch of carbs to convert to sugar. But, but uh, Sunday morning when I checked my uh, levels, my, my ketones were still a 1.7, but my, my glucose was 100. And that was a little concerning because when they both rise, now 100 is not bad, but if it was like 130, 140, I would be concerned because you don't want to get into a state of ketoacidosis, which is really, really bad. But as long as your glucose is low and your ketones are high, you're good. When they both get high is when you need to start worrying. But uh, yeah, so and the only thing I ate Saturday with that was different was um, an antipasta salad, which probably had hardly any any carbs in it at all. I mean, it, uh, artichoke heart here, a, a cucumber there, and uh, the rest of it was you know an antipasta salad was meat and cheese, so that's all protein. And I heard that protein, too much protein, can cause your glucose levels to rise. So I think that's what happened. So you know the the uh, the. The struggle with this keto is uh, balancing the amounts of fats, proteins, and carbs you get. So I need to pay more attention to that. And uh, there's apps like that you get for your phone. There's uh, cookbooks. You can go online and get menus, a list of food sources. I mean, the the, uh, the information is readily available. 
you just got to know how much of each of those items to eat during the day to keep it balanced so you don't overdo it on one or the other but uh yeah i still feel good but last thursday i weighed in i was 197.2 or 0.5 and Sunday I weighed in at 198.2. I'm like, oh, come on, man. How the hell did I gain, you know, this is ridiculous. How the hell did I gain a pound in two days and I didn't eat nothing? But anyway, I'm okay with that. Uh, you know, your body is going to adjust and it's going to do what it wants to do and it's going to do it when it wants to do it, which is fine with me. Um, I don't have no qualms with what my body does. I'm still lo losing weight. I've lost 20 pounds since I started uh, watching what I eat back in uh, the 9th of June so uh, I started running on June 9th and then I uh, lost about eight or nine pounds that month and when I started keto I lost the rest of it so since June 9th all in all I've lost a total of about 20 pounds so I went from 217 to under 200 pounds you know and I'm absolutely ecstatic about that and uh, right now I'm, I'm feeling good. I got energy. I don't get tired all the time. And because uh, when you're on this diet, uh, the way your body is processing everything, you know, you you uh, you have to drink a ton of water, a ton. And I mean a lot. I drink four at least four now 32 ounce Nalgene bottles of water while I'm at work in eight hours. That's, and I think the rule of thumb is uh, half your weight. Half your body weight in ounces of water is what you should have during the day. So I was 200 pounds, let's just say I should have at least 100 ounces of water every day. And uh, minerals, sodium is another one. Your body will, will run that out of your system as well. So you have to make sure you keep your salt intake up. So I bought some salt tabs for emergency, but normally I put, and this sounds nasty, but normally I put like a quarter teaspoon of salt in my 32 ounce bottle of water. And I use like those Mio flavor enhancer and squeeze things. Uh, you really can't taste it. It doesn't taste any different than Gatorade. And uh, one teaspoon of, of uh, salt has like 590 milligrams of sodium. And I think the daily recommended is 2300 milligrams. So yeah, I'm not overdoing it. I'm not, I'm not, it's not like I'm drinking seawater every day. But you got to take care of yourself. Your body knows what it's doing. And uh, I, I, the running, I know it has improved. So even though I'm not eating a bunch of carbs, that everybody says you need some carbs for energy, I was able to finally, and then I put the video up, but I was finally able to do a three mile run without walking at all. And it, it, all the miles were just under 12 minutes a piece. So I feel really good about that. Hopefully I can just keep that going and uh, reach my goal, of my second goal of doing three miles in uh, 30 minutes or less. Well, well or uh, 29 minutes and 59 seconds. That would be another goal. So, yeah, I think uh, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So, uh, if you guys got any questions, feel free to go to my About Me page. And I believe you can just hover, whatever it is you have to do to get my email address. Feel free to email me. Uh, you know, if it's bad enough, I'll even give you my phone number if you want to talk about something. I'm that kind of guy. So, yeah, I hope everybody's doing safe. Get healthy and uh, join me on a run one morning. I'd love to hear you do a little vlog of any kind of exercise you're doing. Whether you're doing some stairs, you're going to the gym and doing a little bit. And I'm not talking about you guys who are already working out and, and already healthy. Stoney, I'm not going to mention any names, Stoney. But um, if you're already a gym rat, Stoney, no need to pipe up, Stoney. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know a lot of you guys do work out and are healthy, but uh, anybody who, who hasn't, who's been a little sedentary lately, or has been a little lazy like I was, if you've gotten up and even walked around the block with your dog or your wife or your children or your grandchildren, I'd love to hear about it. Um, we all need a little bit of exercise. Like I said before, this is the only body we get. we got to take care of it, you know, and... Uh, I don't want to I don't want to go out of this world feeble and um, you know aches and pains and inflammation all the time that's just not my style don't want pain I'm not going to live off of uh, Motrin and other kind of pain relievers so you guys do what you got to do so anyway hope everybody is healthy and feel it well and again get out there and get some exercise so you guys be safe have a great one and I'll talk to you next time I'm out <laughs>